This is how socialism starts. Government causes a problem, and then government steps in to solve the problem. Yes, exactly. When Carly Fiorina said that, I cheered. Finally, a politician pointing out that big government promising to fix things is like socialism. It brings about the same failures. Government proposes solutions to problems government created in the first place. But apparently, I'm not normal. Carly Fiorina didn't generate much excitement on the campaign trail. And many Americans today are quite comfortable with the idea of living under socialism. 43% of likely Democratic voters in the Iowa caucuses said they'd use the word socialist to describe themselves. Shoot me. Now, while this surprises me, pollster Frank Luntz says that's only because I'm clueless about the way people hear the word socialist today. Lentz joins us now from New Hampshire. I'm just out of touch. Uh, a little bit out of touch, but it's not your fault, John. I blame the business community who has never bothered to actually educate people in the failures of our public system that capitalism actually works, that the free market system is the reason why we have so many good things spread across the entire country and, and, and most Americans, that the fact is that no one's ever bothered to defend free markets. We have the Pew poll. People age 18 to 29 ask, which do you prefer? 49% picked socialism over capitalism, which got 46%. The good news was as they got over 30, the numbers went down. But these young people are going to be in charge soon. If you do not explain and do not educate and do not inform, then we have no one to blame but ourselves when the language digresses and bad ideas become good words. Frank Luntz had a focus group, watched the first Democratic debate and turned dials to show what they liked. Watch what happens when the socialist candidate was asked this. You don't consider yourself a capitalist, though. Do I consider myself part of the casino capitalist process by which so few have so much and so many have so little, by which Wall Street Greed and recklessness wreck this economy. No, I don't. I believe in a society where all people do well, not just a handful of billionaires. Just so, let me just be clear. Is there any bill, anybody else on the stage who's not a capitalist? I was relieved that the other candidates didn't rush to raise their hands. Uh, they did go on to criticize capitalism, but they weren't eager to call themselves socialists. What bothered me about Frank's focus group is that they liked Bernie Sanders trashing capitalism, and afterward, Frank asked them about that. How many of you walked in here supporting Hillary Clinton? Raise your hands. Raise them high. How many of you are still supporting Hillary Clinton? So who won tonight's debate? Hillary Clinton. But aren't you nervous, difference. those of you who switched, to support a socialist? No, no, he's actually for a social democracy, right. is what he's yeah, actually for. Equal okay. opportunity. Frank, that's what people think socialism is, equality, equal opportunity. Of those people there, almost all of them felt that socialism is compassionate, that socialism is kind, that it's caring. I'm going to tell you something, and I hate to admit this. If you're a young person and you tell someone of the opposite sex that you're a socialist, you're much more likely to get some action at the end of the evening. Why? Because being a socialist in 2016 among college kids is really cool. And that ought to frighten you, because if it's cool today, it's going to change American politics tomorrow. Fortunately, some political commentators still think socialism is a, has a bad stigma, but they want to fix that. Here's Larry O'Donnell. We need to take the political sting out of the word socialist. When silly old John McCain began, began calling Barack Obama a socialist, everyone, not just me, should have said, so are you. We're socialists because we get social security and we use parks and libraries. That's the argument. And it's working. Yes, it is working. And I know, John, that you're hostile to this. And you and I have had conversations off camera where the work that I do concerns you. But understand this. If you're not attempting to define the words, then Lawrence O'Donnell will be successful. So many people are focused on 2016. I'm looking far beyond. If the American people give up on the free market system, if the American people believe that economic freedom isn't the preferred system of economics, that we are done as a country, we are done as a people, and a hundred years from now they will look back and say it was because we gave into socialism that America in the end lost its way.